Selena Gomez and Trevor Daniels just dropped a new music video for Past Life that is puts a very trippy and psychedelic spin on the whole quarantine life that we're all experiencing right now. Here are all the details. I'm Gabby Conti. I'm Gina Rosenberg, and this is your 24-7 Celebrity News. Thankfully, the pandemic has not stopped Selena Gomez and Trevor Daniel from dropping a very cool music video for their song, Past Life. In the music video that just dropped, the two start things off doing an Instagram live jam sesh turned to trippy journey. This music video shows that it is possible to still produce creative and entertaining content and music videos safely during quarantine and gets us super excited for the other mu music videos that we might be seeing soon from our other favorite artists. I mean, yeah, this is a really cool time creatively. You kind of have to like put your heads together and figure out how to like give things to the fans while you can't maybe physically be at certain places to shoot with a bunch of people. It reminds me, I've, I'm, I'm still watching Zac Efron's show. Um, Down to Earth. And Down to Earth. And uh, when they were in Costa Rica, this guy said something that really stuck with me where he's like, sometimes the solution to the problem is the problem. And this yes. fits this so well because like the problem is, okay, you can't film. Like you, they're really like really strict restrictions in filming. Right. You can't really do a big production. A music video shoot usually consists of so many people and mm -hmm. moving pieces. And so they're like, oh, okay, well, how are we gonna do it? And it's like starts off what you would think is an Instagram live, but then it goes into something that's like super digital, super yeah. like very post-production heavy, which can be done much more safely than live production. So Daniel just recently released his remix of Pat life with Selena on the track just last month. Selena explained why she wanted to work on this song saying, quote, when I heard the song the first time, I loved the fact that it was kind of like a story about all the things that we tend to hold on to and the patterns that we have. And I'm very, very vocal about my personal experiences making decisions that maybe aren't necessarily healthy for me. I really, really relate to the song. The first time I heard this song, it was on TikTok and it was mm -hmm. a clip and I was like, it like got me, you guys, Aww. in the heart. Like I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot wait till this comes out. Then the next day it came out and I mean, ever since it's been on repeat for me. I love that she said this because I totally agree. That's exactly what resonated with me when I heard the song. Um, so yeah, I mean, big fan. Gomez has recently opened up to her fans this year. Before the release of her album, she candidly spoke about what it was like for her dating Justin Bieber. Selena said that her relationship with Justin had become toxic over the years, and it was important for her to discover why she had stayed in that relationship for as long as she did. As she told NPR, it's dangerous to stay in a victim mentality. And I'm not being disrespectful, I do feel I was a victim to certain abuse. And I think Justin, like, he kind of like owns up to this as well because he admits that like when they were dating, it was like a very dark time and that like his relationship with Haley and also working on himself yeah. and like, he has become a much stronger and better person. Yeah. And I think it just proves that like, sometimes we feel that relationships, the answer is to find your other half, which is such a codependent, like bad mentality, when really you need to be a strong person before you get into a relationship. Yeah. And it seems like the biggest thing of what didn't work out with Selena and Justin is they both were in such like developmental, like changing, Stages. like learning who they were. Yeah. And like, that's why that didn't work out. 100%. When NPR had asked Selena if she meant emotional abuse, Selena clarified yes, and I think that it's something that I had to find a way to understand it as an adult and I had to understand the choices I was making as much as I definitely don't want to spend the rest of my life talking about this I'm really proud that I can say I feel the strongest I've ever felt and I found a way to just walk through it with as much grace as possible and that totally shows I mean she is glowing she looks her best she seems her best she seems her happiest and healthiest. I also don't understand why they do not teach you about toxic relationships in high school health class. I mean, they don't teach you a lot of stuff in high school health classes, yeah. but I feel like it's just as detrimental as STDs. And no, we really don't talk is. about them. Yeah, it is. I mean, <laughs> until you go through it or experience it yourself, like you don't even understand the toll it can take on your brain and your mental health and like, it affects your physical health too oh, after so a while because you're not sleeping, you're not eating, yeah. or you are, yeah. and whatever. Um, so yeah, you're so right. I wish um, that they kind of go over that more. Something but. I learned from my last relationship, if you're crying more than you're happy in a relationship, that's a sign that you should probably get out of that relationship. Don't be in it. I would don't say, be in it. get out. I learned the same thing. I right? was like, why am I just upset all you don't, the time? Most, you don't cry in most relationships. Yeah, no, you don't. <laughs> So anyways, what do you guys think of Selena's new music video with Trevor Daniel for past life? And are you loving the jam as much as I am? Let us know. I'm Gina Rosenberg. I'm Gabby Conti and follow us at Hollywire for your 24-7 celebrity news.